Hello and welcome back on my channel. Thanks for watching. Today I will show you how you can add a dump load like this um, through the uh, um, wind turbine charge controllers by Easterbreeze like this. This is a 700 watt version for example. May you remember my uh, previous uh, video where I explained how you can change this unit over here to change the maximum and minimum voltage settings to uh, charge, for example, lithium iron phosphate batteries, uh, which is usually not able to change, but with the modification you can, and also you can change the time, how long the brake should be go into the system if you reach uh, over voltage or what else. Uh, if you do not know that video, I will put a link in the description below so you can directly find it. Anyhow, uh, why you need a dump load on a wind turbine and what is a dump load uh, by itself? Well, a dump load like this, this is an 800 watt version for example, it's just a simple resistor and a resistor with only one or two ohms. So nothing fancy, nothing special. But this uh, dump load terminates uh, in a case of brake or overspeeding the turbine or, over, or you have any overpower in the whole system, uh, it terminates the, the uh, power. And um, this is um, quite often necessary if you break down the turbine out of a full run. Uh, in some cases it could happen that the, uh, the turbine is turning very fast and uh, producing maybe a bit of over voltage or reaching the maximum output of the controller or reaching the maximum um, uh, yeah, uh, input for the battery. And then the, the charge controller starts to break in. So if you reach the maximum uh, output voltage over here you controlled before, um, then the, automatically this charge controller breaks the turbine down. It short circuit all the three lines of the turbine and breaks it down immediately. And by the way you can do that also by yourself with this brake switch over here to break the turbine in case of an upcoming storm, hurricane or what else. But anyhow, if you break the turbine in, in a, uh, yeah, in a running system, there's a lot of energy in a system, just only for a very short time, but there is a lot of energy. And if you uh, break the turbine out of the full run, or it's overspeeding and producing therefore over voltage, and then the, the charge controller breaks in because of the overspeeding, um, you have a very short time, a lot of power into the system. In the case of the 1500 watt turbine, for example, you will have an overspeeding at 1600, 1700 watts. And uh, you have that power in a very short time the whole system. And uh, of course most of the time that power will be terminated into the turbine. And I guess you can imagine that maybe even a short time, 1500, 1700 watts into the turbine is not a very good idea for a long generator life. And therefore expansive charge controllers having these dump loads. Uh, but these dump loads by themselves are not very expensive, so you can uh, buy them from eBay or from Amazon or AliExpress, whatever you like. I will put a, um, a description link, just an example link uh, below in the description where you could find it on Amazon, for example. Uh, and uh, yeah, and then you can add them through these um, very useful and uh, cheap charge controllers from Easterbreeze, for example. So before we start, let's take a look inside this controller see where you have to connect it and let's see how it works. Yeah, this is the uh, charge controller, the 700 watt version. Once again, for example, you can see this is the manual brake switch. And if you open up, open up that device, you see this is uh, the other side of the uh, brake switch. Just uh, if we activate the brake, um, you will short, we, we will shorten all the uh, three lines. I just example it on only two lines here. Um, and uh, you see, uh, actually, um, there is, uh, yeah, it's short right now. If I, uh, if I open up the brake again, then of course, uh, it's an open line. You see that on a multimeter. And if I close that brake again, all these three lines are shortened. Anyway, um, that's how it works. And as you, as you see, here are some, some circuit breakers, the re release, rectifier, the control unit again. But this is the, this is the, the uh, thing we have to modificate. You see these three cables and these three cables on that switch just producing this um, short circuit into the switch. And what we have to do is we have to disconnect these three and put uh, some, some cables from, these, uh, from this dump load um, just uh, to that, to that uh, switch. Um, anyway, um, I, I use two of these dump loads. So I connect one dump load from over here 
to over here and the other one I'm connecting from over here to over here and then I have uh, in that case this is the um, 700 watt version 2 times 800 watt dump load so there's enough um, uh, it's definitely enough to break down the 700 watt turbine it would be even enough to break down the 1500 watt turbine but uh, for that I would choose maybe 2 times 1000 watts um, dump loads so um, I will show you now how I connect them and how, how does it look like after that yeah, and as you can see now I added these two dump loads as an example right now with the wires uh, just uh, through this hole you can drill another hole of course and then you can close it as well and uh, yeah I have the same uh, same functionality as you had before but now uh, with the dump load on the brake and you can see that if you just uh, measure this uh, with the uh, with the multimeter of course that the functionality is the same the only difference you notice is the one ohms of the dump load let's take a look on the uh, on the multimeter over here so you see as uh, this is uh, one ohms over here yeah now you see it's just one to two ohms and uh, with the break on and with the break off of course everything is an open line again and break is on again you see the one ohm of the dump load so this is how it works and uh, actually in, in this case of the 700 watt version we do have now 1600 watts dump loads uh, which is uh, by far enough but of course with the uh, 1500 watt, uh, watt version may you uh, could connect a bit bigger one but may it's not necessary just for that short period just to uh, reduce the loads uh, on a turbine if you uh, yeah, brake uh, the turbine manually or this charge controller does it by itself do over speeding or do over voltage so um, yeah time for a short conclusion yeah time for a short conclusion as you recognize uh, it's very easy to add uh, these dump loads to the Easter Breeze charge controllers and I guess it's necessary or it's essential to do so especially into very windy areas Anyhow, the idea for that I had, because uh, I compared the Easter Breeze stuff to some very expensive charge controllers for wind turbines, sometimes three times, four times uh, more expensive than the Easter Breeze ones. And the only advantage these expensive ones are having are a dump load and a voltage regulation. And this is exactly what we modificated now. We added a dump load and a couple of days ago I showed you the modification to change the voltage. And so you have the same um, functionalities but with a very low price point anyhow hopefully you enjoyed that video uh, I will add a few more also about grid inverters and uh, how I um, yeah, generate all my power outside the solar panels and the wind turbines and it's something about lithium iron phosphate batteries by the way as well but anyhow if you like the channel please subscribe the channel or click the like button and uh, yeah see you next time bye